My goodness. Kevin just went in the post office and he was gone forever. Oh my word. He is bringing out a cart. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a cart of boxes. Crazy. Crazy. Well, George Ann, you shocked Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> he was not expecting that at all. I wasn't expecting them today either because um, as of me filming this, you had not too long ago told me that you had mailed me some stuff. And uh, so I wasn't expecting them this soon. Um, but he said there was like 13 boxes back there or something like that, I think. And he could have counted wrong. There could be more than that. Um, so anyway, I have them in the back seat. That's why I have the camera pointed this way because I don't want to show your address. But uh, there's going to be a huge box opening video. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of boxes. I was a very bad vlogger just now because I did not pull my camera out. What the deal was is we went to a new to us um, grocery store and it's a Mexican grocery store and it was the coolest thing. Um, it was a happy place. They it, were playing upbeat music the whole time. Yes, and they had these of like it was um, Mexican music. So yeah, yeah, food. yeah. But it was awesome, and they had like all over the ceiling. They had papers hanging down that mm -hmm. was uh, all different colors, and yeah, and it was just it was just a really cool store. But um, I don't even know how much money we spent in there. Know. But if you watch the grocery hauls, you'll have seen uh, what we bought. But we got a whole bunch of stuff that we have no idea what it is. <laughs> but it was a neat store. And I told Kevin, I said, next time we go back in there, um, I definitely want to film. Because it was cool. And um, I think... I think that um, a lot of people, it's in Lexington, and I think a lot of people in Lexington probably don't even know that it's here. Yeah, it's Southland Drive. Yeah, it's on Southland Drive. It's on the same side of the road as Critchfield Meat, and in big letters right down from it, it says Supermarket. Well, that's the, the rest, and it looked like they sold food in there, and you could eat. It's a restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Um, really nice lady though that checked me out because I was having, I asked her a couple questions, you know, I said, what is this and is this different from this? And, um, so anyway, she was very, very helpful and very friendly. Um, and then when we checked out, I guess if you bought over a certain amount of stuff, you got a free bottle of this, um, juice and which we've tried the, this brand before. Is it for you? No, it's it like, else? it's like Doritos or I can't, I, <laughs> no, J, it begins Doritos. with a J, it begins with a J and I can't, I just can't think of the name of it, but we've reviewed it before. We bought it at Jungle Gems International Market. So anyway, I picked out a bottle of that. I'll probably just give it to the kids because it's like fruit punch flavor. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was just a really neat, uh, supermarket that I had no idea we had. We have a heck of a box opening for you, and I have a package, which I've already uh, sliced open. This is from Chris, and uh, he is in Northumberland in the UK, and so, let's see. There's a piece of paper. Ooh, the Angel of the North. I, you know, I love that. Uh, Angel of the North landmark based in Northeast England. Enjoy from Chris in the UK. Um, uh, again, Tammy and Kevin, so please you like the bird strawberry trifle and it was great seeing you on your channel making the trifle I sent you. Thank you for your uh, comments. Um, I've sent over a choice of three delicious desserts including a unicorn edition of Angel Delight as well as a caramel and lemon pie filling made by a popular home baking company called greens hmm. oh okay uh, the uh chris had said in a comment that uh, we were gonna get the angel delight the uh, unicorn edition we've actually reviewed that if it's the same flavor and i would assume that it, it would be so i'll look at it uh greens Home baking since 1907, sweet caramel with syrup. 
So this is, it looks like flan, doesn't mm -hmm, it? It does. It, it, looks, uh, it looks just like flan. And then this is lemon pie filling, yeah. And this makes two. Well, that looks, it looks wonderful. So I can't wait to try it. I wonder what you need. Um, Guessing milk. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. Uh, let's see. Oh, and here's the Angel Delight. And I'll tell you, if we, we, the one we had was like strawberry. Um, this looks like it. Um, I'll have to look it up to be that. sure. Um, it was, it was definitely Angel Delight dessert kit. I will look it up to be sure. Uh, because I do think we made this, but I don't want to say that and then be wrong. So thank you very much uh, to Chris. We appreciate that. And we will, of course, be making these. Uh, go ahead. I'm just going to slide it back there when you get done. It says you need a pastry case, egg whites, and sugar. Okay, because it's pie filling. So yeah. you want to make sure you have the, the crust. Okay. Now, we have... How many? 12? 13? 12? 1, 2. I think there's 12. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 boxes Ugh. from George Ann. The last boxes that George Ann sent us, they, uh, they were, she sent us all kinds of gifts, uh, kid, uh, food, uh, gifts for the kids. She sent us food. She sent me lots of cookbooks, which I have not baked out of all the cookbooks yet. Baked I, want to. I baked out of some, yes. Um, like the Harry Potter cookbook, that was from Georgia. The recipes you've seen from the Disney cookbook, that was from Georgia. We did the one from um, Galaxy's Edge, that was from Georgia. Then I had like three. They were all under one brand, but they were made by Publishers Clearinghouse, and I did a, like a bunch of recipes out of each book, uh, like a pecan recipe book, and then I think one was maple, and so anyway, she sent us a lot more recipe books. This just says new things. New things, question mark, so she's not sure. That's how I take that when she puts a question mark. Oh, that's definitely new. Maintal, Maintal. Since 1886, daggone. That's gonna get a bunch of Black time. cherry fruit spread. Oh, it's a product of Germany. Wow, how cool. So hopefully Maria is watching this uh, this part of the video. Uh, because Maria, you can tell us if you've ever tried this and ever uh, seen it. Uh, this is Hella or Hela. Uh, this is ketchup, yeah. and this is made in Germany. Oh my gosh, how cool. Of course, I can't read a word of it. <laughs> but no, we've never had ketchup from Germany. Had some peanut butter, but not ketchup. The, oh my gosh, I already can tell you I'm gonna love these. Jamaica rum truffles. Yeah, with the little sprinkles on them. Yes, because when they have the little sprinkles, it just adds extra. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna absolutely love these. These are made in Germany. Uh, this is the Germany box. Mm -hmm. Niederegger, this has Kirsch, and it is a marzipan. So this is like, this is really cool actually. It's like a chocolate covered cherry. But in the bottom, that white part is marzipan. You no. see that? Isn't that cool? cool. Uh, and it's still cursed, so. Yes. You know, that's, that's the, oh, I can't wait. Cannot wait. Ooh. Walkers. These are uh, tarts. Wonder, um, I can't read what kind of tarts they are. These are a product of Scotland. And I know they're shortbread. Uh, let's By the way, safety blade. Can't catch stuff. So if you want them out, just be really good. Yeah, <laughs> Kevin likes to cut. Uh, this They have almonds in them. I can tell you that right now. Uh, Kevin likes to use that. Uh, so that way I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, he doesn't have to worry about it. So if he hit my arm on accident, it would be okay. It wouldn't hurt or anything like an that. opportunity. Get <laughs> These 
These are good. Ooh. Sparkling wine. Anne von Berg. It's in sparkling wine. Yes. Oh my gosh. Strawberry and sparkling wine. I wonder where she got these. Um, these are all products of Denmark. Um, this is the cherry in rum and apricot in brandy. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, okay, just keep in mind, this is box one. This is, <laughs> yeah, this is Ooh, amazing. Okay, oh, more Jamaican rum truffles. She, she knew I was Different. gonna like these. Oh, no, she got two. She got me two. She got me two bags because she knew one was gonna be four pieces is 130 calories. That's a bummer. Uh, it's supposed to be six servings in the bag. I can tell you right now, I'll have it. If, if I'm good, I'll have it. Um, oh, how cool. Nougat. Uh, hey, this is a gift for Ashley. These are both a product of France. So you have new nougat in orange cognac, chocolate. Those are so awesome. And then these are different flavors. These are vanilla, pistachio, raspberry, and pistachio. That is so awesome. I've never, never seen, uh, the, I've, of course I've seen nougat, but I've never seen uh, this brand or the, they're individually wrapped too. Yeah, or this packaging. This packaging is very, very unique. Yeah, yeah that plastic package, that's really nice. Uh, oh my gosh, Ashley's gonna die. To Wednesday from Chapel. Now, does she have a cat named Chapel, or is she saying it's no, from our Chapel? No, she's saying it's from our Chapel. Oh, what? Um, we will have to get Wednesday playing with this. Uh, Pop and Play interactive cat toy, motorized peekaboo play. Listen, as if that cat weren't psycho enough, I can't wait. Cannot mm -hmm. wait. We will have to, when we take this over there, we will absolutely get it on video. I wonder if you need a battery or... Yeah, I'm sure there's a battery. I've got bunches of batteries there. Yeah, it requires four C, C batteries, not included. First of all, love those stickers. Uh, we will absolutely get that on video whenever we give it to her. Oh, those are cool. That's really good. I'm assuming that's what goes Oh, she must box. have ordered something. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, but it doesn't sound like it's super hot. Let's see. Pepper Joe's. Distributed. These are made in Iowa. Urbana? Urbana, no, this Iowa? Hot. I hope I'm one. saying that right. Peach Vidalia Onion oh. Hot Sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is Jalapeno Hot Sauce. This one is garlic habanero hot sauce. I can eat habanero better than I can um, jalapenos. jalapenos. Uh, that, Which is funny because a habanero is a jalapeno. I have never heard of these before. Mm -hmm. Pepper you jam. know, they may have, they may sell those at like Jungle Gyms because they have a huge area of hot sauces. If you, but, but we don't go there. We don't look really right. Right, because if you, um, if you know your hot sauces, then you could probably look pretty quickly and tell I've had that, I've had that, I've had that, and I can tell if we've had it or not. But there are literally hundreds and hundreds of hot sauces at uh, Jungle Gems, and um, it's just overwhelming. Um, what is that? It, it says it's miscellaneous stuff. It says you put that on the turn the turn plate and on, on the, the microwave. microwave. That way you don't have to. It's kind of like maybe you like that oven thing to keep it clean. To keep it clean. Oh. So if you get spilled or something, you just pull that and wipe it off. Oh, of. how cool! That, I'm guessing that's what it is. Hmm. I see something for me. Oh, that's neat. What is that? Something for stainless steel. Mm -hmm. You can open it. Always put you newness. Focus on stainless steel. This is an apple core. Oh. Apple core remover. Oh. That's definitely for you. No, no, this, not that. The, this is for me. Oh. 
I was gonna say this is for him too because he's the one that eats, eats the apples. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. a yeah. You go right down the center. Oh, wow. I actually like that better than I've got one that slices in like wedges. I don't like it because I don't like oh, the wedges. That's that's yes, to let drop it out. Of yeah, there. that's really nice. I've never seen anything like that. Who I like that? how George Hansen sends us these gadgets. Last time she sent us, and I've used it several times. Um, she sent us this uh, plastic uh, pour. Um, like, a, this, like a pitcher. Yeah, but it has like a, a measuring cup yeah, with a long spout. But it is specifically for like I think for cupcakes. I mean, I guess you could use it for pancakes or anything, but for cupcakes, and it really does come in handy unless you have really, really thick. thick batter. And then it just runs over. The and then it just doesn't <laughs> work. But for American pancakes, it's normally fine because American uh, or cupcake, American cupcake batter. Is a lot thinner than what you get across the pond for sure. Oh hey, my I got Metal Earth. This one is the Insight Mars Lander. I love the space, the space mm -hmm. thing ones. This uh, one is the nice. Sith TIE Fighter. Um, I may have already put that one together. That one looks familiar. That sounds familiar to me. Yeah. That sounds very Maybe. familiar to me. Maybe. Um, International we'll make Space sure. Station. <gasps> Ooh, I love that. Yeah. I've had one similar to that, but not that. But not this one. And this one is the London Eye. Oh, wow. We don't have that. That's awesome. Oh, thank you. Those are cool. That is very good. Well, it's neat, too, to get one that we, we can be like, we've been on that. Yeah. <laughs> we've yeah. done that. That's cool. Yeah, Tammy was scared right around in that area right there. Listen. <laughs> right when I hit I've that I've said area. before, <laughs> I was fine halfway up and halfway down. But this part was a no-go for me. I was in the, the middle. The bottom half, she was okay, not the top. I was in the, the middle. They have seating in the middle, and thank the Lord. And so that's where I was, with my butt firmly planted and not even looking, and telling Kevin, film that for me. <laughs> Kevin didn't mind. I love these, thank mm. you. Make sure those aren't in, in your way, okay. Tammy, I know you came home from Hawaii without one thing you really wanted. I'm guessing what that is. I bet I know what it is just from her saying that. Yeah. For new, if I read no further, I, I'm, I'm going to guess an ornament. Ornament, but specifically. Oh, I don't know. Specifically, and, and what, a specific ornament? Yeah. One that said, I wanted one that said Honolulu on it. Or doll. Or doll, yeah, because yeah. they didn't have any. Um, that's what I was thinking. It's dope. That's what your guess is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I know you came home from Hawaii without one thing you really wanted. Well, this is not it. <laughs> <laughs> but. But I really tried hard to do something about it. I found a group that makes things like it, but they tried and failed to get permission to use the company's logo. It has to be dull. I tried but failed. I hope the, the one they made... For me, will do. Oh What's funny my is, god! If it is something like that, half time people don't even get permission. They just do it. They just do it. Let me see. <gasps> oh my god! Is it? It's it's just a pineapple. Yeah, but I bet you that's doll. I doll love is it. what they were wanting. Yes, I love this. This is awesome. That is awesome. This is awesome. It's better than some of the wooden ones. Thank were. you. Yes. Thank you so so much. Uh, no, I appreciate that. And every time I look at that, I'm gonna think of Doll and George Ann. Uh, thank you so much. No, I love this, and and uh, I appreciate so much you going to that trouble. Um, I, I can't believe you went to that trouble for me. And and, and can you believe? I still can't believe Doll doesn't sell ornaments. No, yeah, it's silly. Yeah, it, and, it, she, and the woman kind of basically said, "No, they really don't yeah, do that." Don't do that, you know. And it's like, okay, but I know that me and a million other people that come through here would, like would, would love to have one. You Just know. like buying spoons or something. Oh my gosh, she's done it again. She sent us more dumpling balls. Oh, oh but you know what? That looks uh, like it's a crimper, basically. It looks, yeah, that reminds me of a little hand pie too. Yeah, like you could do that same design for that. Yeah. Never seen anything like that. That is pretty cool. This handmade, necessarily not handmade, homemade, homemade recipes 
150 British. British recipes. Okay, what can we find really quick? Hmm. Wonder if they have Bakewell or anything Bakewell. Oh no, it's just baking. They have scones. They have English muffins. You like this one. Potato cake. Uh, English breakfast. Uh, potted yeah. shrimp for butter lovers. Some little stickers. I love these little pepper stickers. I know, they're, 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 they're cool, aren't they? Uh, one bowl chocolate and orange sponge cake. This one reminds me of um, Beetlejuice, where he pops his eyes out. It does look like that. Puts them on his fingers. Uh, Kim Joy. Do you remember Kim Joy? No. Kim, Kim Joy was on the Bake Off. And she made the cool. If I showed you a picture of her, you would recognize her. Um, she made the neatest looking desserts on the Bake Off. Um, just the coolest thing. And you know that they sell a Kim Joy cookbook. I've seen it at World Market because I meant to show it to you. Mm -hmm. uh, they have. We never walk over there, but they have a section in World Market of uh, recipe books, and Kim Joy has her own recipe book. I'll show her to you, you'll remember. Because yeah, she made some really cool looking desserts. Either use the gooey butter cakes within 10 days or freeze and use within four weeks. Oh, wow. Mama Bev's Bakery. This is a caramel apple. Oh wow, caramel apple. Classic. Classic. And raspberry. And raspberry. Oh yeah. Another one. No. St. Louis butter cake. Never heard of it. She had ice packs in this one, by the way. Oh, did she? Yeah. You want to say who you got some? I think we got about ten of them. Uh, Let's see ice packs. This is awesome. Now we we will we'll review these right away. Um, and that way. Good. Oh, it does. It's still cool. Yep, it is. These are good for putting in lunch bags. And stuff. Uh -huh. These are these are expensive too. I think. They're yeah. Gone. Yeah. These. Are, yeah. These are these are still cool. Yeah. I'm gonna um, put them to the side and see if somebody else. We can will see. review these right away, George Ann. Uh, these are sausages. Wisconsin's best. We have smoked summer sausage. Uh, this is called Pepper Joe's. That oh, is Pepper the, Joe's. That's, that's the same yeah. company as No, 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 no the stickers were in there. Uh, jalapeno cheddar oh. summer sausage. Johnsonville garlic. Remember I said they don't sell it in our area? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we looked all over the place. They, they literally, if you do a search, they don't sell this in our area. I have no idea why, because they sell tons of Johnsonville. Why not sell the garlic? Yeah. We like garlic. Um, this is called... Uh, Pre, Primo, Primo Tajillo, yeah. Hickory Smoked Summer Sausage. So we just try a bunch of summer sausage. Uh, yes, and Kevin really, really loves doing these reviews. Um, it would be awesome. I make no promises. I can't. But it would be awesome if we could get Andrew for this, wouldn't it? This one's neat repeats to enjoy. Wouldn't it be awesome it to get Andrew over here? If we can. He works a lot. So. He works a lot. We will see. These were awesome. That's why she said meat for peace. Thank you so much. It's so fun to get things to new things to review, but it's also fun to get things like this that we can just open it and enjoy it. Mm, I like I, I don't have to take pictures of it. Oh yeah. The yes. I don't have to take pictures of it I, or anything. I would just open it and enjoy it. That is so nice of you. Because the, we don't get these around uh, here. Sea salt, peppers, onion, potato chips. Yes. The ones there. Oh, yes. I think you were crazy about those. Crazy. Yes. Love them. Absolutely love them. <laughs> I will be these tonight with dinner. Are hey, you ready? Okay. <gasps> Remember those pineapples when we said yes. we only got like three of them in the package? Yes. Well, I hope you really like them. Oh my gosh. Because you know, I got another one. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, these, here. these are the ones. They sell these at the doll at Doll Plantation, but they also sold them at the um, the hotel uh, where we stayed. I'm thinking the, one, the pack we bought was a mixed pack. It though, was a mixed pack. And um, yeah. I'm thinking yes. 
That was wonderful. Yes, and they do not sell these around. Oh, well, guess what? She knew I loved it. I absolutely love these. Is that like a Turkish delight almost in time? This is like the one that I just bought and I already ate it. I bought oh, it at yeah. that Mexican grocery yep. store and I already ate it. Well, she gave me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. There's one, uh, if I had my phone in here, I'd be able to tell you. the B. A B. Like Bebo, Bebo. Bebo or something Bebo. else. And it's a Mexican uh, version and it has um, jelly. Oh, these are awesome. It has jelly and marshmallow and chocolate. This is a chocolate covered jelly, but it doesn't have marshmallow. But I only bought one. I bought one to review. We didn't want to buy more because I didn't know if we were going to like it or not. It's awesome, let me tell you. And these little things are so good. What I was going to say is, I'm thinking when we went to Hawaii that George Ann told me, I swear she said she lived there for like three months or something. Oh, she really? Yes, like she was there for an extended time with her husband. She was there for a long time. So it was like, wow, that would be amazing. Um, yeah, uh, yes, so I'm very excited. You said, oh, that was, thank you. This one's goodies. Okay. That's the IHP ball. If you all could only see the number of boxes, um, HP. I know where that's from. Uh, and we have not reviewed it. No. Um, no, I've seen it a bunch. We, yeah, I mean, when you go out to uh, a pub, this is on all the tables. Uh, no matter where you go, you're going to see the HP sauce. Uh, so uh, we can now, we'll properly review it. These are Archway Pfeffer News, and they look like wedding cookies. I don't, I think we reviewed the wedding cookies, the Archway wedding cookies. If these are different though, we'll absolutely review those too. And if, if we have, if they're the same thing, well, we can just enjoy them. But may, we might just review them just because they have a different name on them. Pfeffer news. I mean, that's a cool name. I like saying that word. Okay. These are Scotland. Oh, look, it has a Harry Coo on it. A traditional handmade vanilla fudge made in Scotland. Oh, wow. Vanilla fudge. And this is Garnier's assorted fudge. Clotted cream, ginger, apple, and cinnamon. Strawberries and cream, rum, and raisin. And I was to say clotted Clotted cream, sea salt, caramel fudge, and this is the Garnier's, uh, this one, the same company as this. Barton's, we've had Barton's, but not this, Almond Kisses. Barton's Almond Kisses. Oh, okay, so they're like, they look like little chocolates. Mm-hmm, almonds Uh-huh. That's neat. Almond Kisses. I'm trying to see where they're made. Barton. Because I know we've done some Bartons. Oh, New York. Since 1938, savvy New Yorkers had shared a delicious secret. The smoothest, creamiest, chewiest caramel could be found only in New York and only in Barton's Almond Kisses. And as if having the best caramel wasn't enough, Barton's went and added whole toasted almonds go figure oh wow what yum uh shortbread um house of edinburgh uh shortbread with salted caramel i love the tin mm -hmm. because, yeah, these are almost tins. because you know what you can do with these tins if you burn incense if you have the incense like sticks, the sticks yeah, yeah you could, these are nice metal tins. You can store those incense uh, sticks in those. Um, <gasps> these are more from Publisher's Clearinghouse. Do you uh, recognize these? I recognize the tin. Okay. Um, did she say what was in here? Oh, okay. Weaver. Okay, so that was the name of those cookbooks, I bet. The cookbooks that she sent me that Publisher's Clearinghouse did? I'm not sure. Uh, Weaver Nut Company, these are, uh, new, uh, let's see. these are Butter Toffee Roasted Peanuts. Pretty sure those are sesame. 
Yes, these are the ones she sent us before. We absolutely love these. These were our favorites out of the bunch. Yeah, honey roasted sesame sticks. Yes, Chips. these these were our favorites out awesome. of the bunch. So she sent us these just to enjoy. Yeah, because I love them. So. And I'm sure they were, uh, they cost an arm and a leg because they came from Publishers Clearinghouse. Thank you so much. This one says cheap stuff, but cute, but cute. Oh, hey. Cheap but cute. I like that. Happy fall, y'all. Kitchen yeah. towel. These are a big, pack. a big pack of kitchen towels. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, so like eight towels. No, 15. 15. 15 towels in there. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Looks like a pack you of shop what, towels. You know what, though? Decorated. Those green ones, though, I can use those green ones for Christmas. Oh, yeah. So Thank those you. don't have to be for fall. Um, I can totally use those for for uh, for Christmas. Oh, happy fall, y'all. That's so cute. Yeah, oh, I, don't, I didn't have one specifically for fall either. Oh, oh welcome, Matt. And you don't have to use that for your front door either. If you wanted to put that in the kitchen, in front of the sink, no, it's not one of the padded ones, but it still is cute. Or you could put it in front of your stove. You could put it in the bathroom if you wanted to. Those are just really cute. Oh, what's that? Well, fun. Oh, that's adorable. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That is so cute. I don't want to take this out, but these are... Uh... I wonder where pumpkins. she found all the. Oh, let me see. What is that glass called? Um, gosh, I'm not going to be able to think of it because I love it. It is. I have a lot of it. It's. Um, the, I have the silver. Oh, that's neat. You could just sit that on the kitchen counter. Mm -hmm. get back it the begins with an room. M. Mercury? Mercury glass. Yeah, mercury glass. That's what there's that reminds three, me there's of. There's three pumpkins. That is so pretty. Can you put that down next to you? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to put the things that aren't food I'm putting down here. That's, okay. Well, I'm that's... wondering what's happening. They're going just next to me. Last four. Four more. Amazing. Now, this will be very fun to try all this. Guess what? Guess what? I like Chicken that. She, what? I like that she put notes in there. <laughs> uh, because a lot of people don't put notes, and I just think it's funny. You can tell Georgian has a sense of humor. Yeah, yeah, she has a sense of humor, <laughs> and I love it. Oh wow, breads. Do you know who's really, really good at making bread? Kevin. Oh, Kevin bread. Kevin's good at making bread. I'm impatient, but I like it. I don't think you're impatient at all. No, I think I like, you're one of the most patient people I no, know. No, as far as baking bread, though, I, I'm not. I'm not one to like. I don't like to let it sit and rise. I like to like get it going. You I mean, I do, do, but I don't like it. But <laughs> if he's given a time, you know, then he's good at setting the timer for that time and doing it. He, he really is good. He is, uh, Kevin's good with working with, his hand, working with his hands. Those, look at those biscuits. Yogurt chai biscuits. Those look those like good. those um, uh, red lobster, yeah, red lobster. garlic yeah. biscuits. Bacon jalapeno cornbread, soft pretzels, English style scones, lemon glazed zucchini muffins, pecan peach muffins. Scones are just uh, basically biscuits that are sweet. Those are good. Uh, everything in here looks wonderful. Oh, there's bacon, bacon cheddar monkey bread. So it's like a pull apart bread. Oh, savory. that sounds wonderful to me. That looks good. That looks good. Yeah. This this will be very fun. Oh, my goodness, Betty Crocker's picture cookbook, the original 1950 classic. Oh, how neat. I'm gonna wait until we get done opening the boxes, and then I'll um, I'll open this like on the counter or something, where I can open it for the first time. And just I will, of course, I'm not gonna flip through the whole book, but we can look through some of the pictures together. I can show you what it looks like. Uh, that is amazing. Uh, really, really cool. 
Um, okay, I'll put that down here too. It's not food. I wanted to keep it up there. Okay. Now, some of these look like things we've had. We have. These are the it's peanut, not that like things peanut have. butter lovers. You know, we had peanut butter lovers, but I don't know that we had the miniatures. I, don't know. I know we had peanut butter lovers, but um, because what's funny is, is we tried those, the peanut brittle Reese's, which is like my favorite now. Uh, my favorite Reese's is peanut butter. But we tried it in the big cup and we tried it in the miniature. And Kevin liked the miniature better than the big cup. I, I like the big cup just because I'm a gluttonous person and I like the big one more. But they did, really did have a difference in flavor. Mm -hmm. um, the little ones really did taste like more like a maple nut goodie. Mm -hmm. And my, the, the big ones really tasted more like peanut brittle. So they have more of the peanut butter. Flavor. Yeah, so these might be different too. Uh, if, if we have not reviewed them, because I don't, I don't think we did. I think we just reviewed the regular cups. I don't remember. Now this, I know we have. The pumpkin spice cookie mix, uh, Betty Crocker, yes. Um, and these are absolutely delicious. Love these. Werther's Original Cinnamon Cream, Pumpkin Spice, and Caramel Apple. I think we've reviewed all three of these too. Mm -hmm. But clearly, George Ann likes to send us stuff just to enjoy. So. Well, she just said goodies. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I'm going to make, though, don't take my word for it. I'm going to make absolutely sure. When I say I think we've reviewed some, I'm going to make sure. So, like, I think we've reviewed all these, but I'll make sure. Uh, the Salted Caramel Betty Crocker Cookie Mix. I'm not 100% positive on that, but Apple Brown Sugar, I'm not sure about that. That's sounds familiar though. Yeah, we may have reviewed that. It may have been a couple of years ago and it may have been in a different packaging. Um, I'll just have to see. Apple Cider Muffin Mix. I think, I'm not sure about this. I, I want to say, that we've reviewed it, but it might have been a different brand. Um, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll just have to see. Waitrose. Waitrose and Partners. Chocolate Eclairs. And then I recognize these. These are Walker's None Such English Creamy Toffees. Bonds of London. Georgian sent us a whole bunch last time of the Bonds of London uh, candies. These are the Pear Drops. These must have just been some that she didn't find the first time. What are these? Pumpkin Myrtles with Pecans. Long Grow Confectionery Company. Lexington Drive in Buffalo Grove, Illinois. Oh, I've never heard of these. George Ann, I would like to know. I hope you leave a comment. I would like to know. Everything that you're sending us, have you tried? So, like, it seems like you, like, specially ordered these, and there were some other things that... Oh, the, uh, the butter... What were those called? Butter cakes? Have you tried those, too? I would like to know, or are you, uh, are we the guinea pigs? Hey, I don't mind at all, but I'm just curious if you've ordered it in the past and you love it so much that you want us to, to try it, you know, too. I'm just very, very curious. Ooh, Famous Dave's Autumn Spice Cornbread. I know we haven't tried that, but we love cornbread. It actually has allspice, cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg in it, in the cornbread. Okay, so you can make muffins too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can make muffins or cornbread. Well, I mean, it's gonna taste the same. Right? Fanny Mae, I know we've had some Fanny Mae, but these don't look familiar. Milk, uh, chocolate, peanut butter, milk, chocolate, caramel, and milk chocolate almond. And then we have a Russell Stover Joy Bites. Uh, this is a no sugar added. I know we had like two of these. This is probably one we haven't reviewed and, and George Ann knew it. Uh, this is a caramel and chocolate. This says... 
goodies. Check out the clear clear root beer. Yeah, one of these bottles literally is glass shattered. It broke. Yeah. Oh no. Oh. Man down, man down. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, it did. <laughs> it's glass glass. She said the only one I could get in zero sugar is cherry wine. The others were out of stock of zero or diet. Oh, I would, wouldn't you like to know which one broke? The cheer wine and zero. I can open it up. I just don't want to get my hands in the glass. Yeah, he don't want to cut himself. Oh, man. Uh, so this is cheer wine zero, which That's I've so never seen the zero version. These are all wet though because the... Because the one broke. Yeah. I'm glad it wasn't leaking when it got to the post office. That way... Oh, good. Oh, I'm glad it survived. Blondie Barrel Aged Root Beer, Oak Creek. Oak Creek Barrel Aged Sodas dot com. Yeah, all the rest of them are fine. It's just that well, one. I'm so sorry that the one broke because she packed it in bubble wrap. I tell you what, the most ingenious idea I've ever seen was that pool noodle. Yeah, of course it took up a lot of room. It took up a lot of space though. That's the only thing, yeah. Um, somebody used a pool noodle in, uh, in Canada. She used a pool noodle to wrap around the bottles. And I thought that that was brilliant uh, because, it, but it did take up tons of room. IBC Black Cherry Soda. This is IBC Cream Soda. I love cream soda. Very, very sweet. My hands are getting sticky. Well, these aren't sticky. So uh, it's uh, all on that it's on the package. Yeah. yeah. This is the IBC Root Beer. So see, Georgian will know which one broke. And we still have one more box after this one. <laughs> This is the, okay, cheer wine. So good. We have the regular and the diet. So I can't imagine uh, which one broke. Oh, are you going to open it? Be careful. Yeah, I mean, it shattered. I just don't want him to cut himself. I'm being careful. Something cream. Ugh. Wow. Vanilla cream, WBC vanilla cream. Um, That's what the rest of the bottle looks like. If it makes you feel any better, I recognize WBC vanilla. I wonder if we haven't tried that. Do you want to go wash your hands? No, we just got this on the box. I'll try not to touch it either. Okay. Um, I swear that looks very familiar. We may have already tried that, and wouldn't that be perfect luck um, for the one to have broke uh, that we had already tried? I'll, I, now I'm curious. I'll have to remember that and look that up. Okay. And there's another note. I love this the notes. Hilarious. New things. You tried Tom, but not these flavors. Yeah, yeah, Limited time kettle brand, yeah. Hunky Dory from Ireland. Oh, yeah, Tom's. Yeah, we haven't tried these uh, Tom's in forever. And I've never seen these. This is Tom's Dill Pickle uh, Mesquite Barbecue. Yes, we did try those. The Kettle Brand Apple, we did try those. Um, but that's okay because we'll just enjoy them. The Kettle Brand, we love Kettle Brand. Hunky Dory. Oh, it's variety pack. They're Tato. These are, these are, uh... Tato. Yeah, crinkle cut. Yeah. Okay, they're the same thing. Cheddar cheese and spring onion, buffalo. Yes, I love this brand. Yeah, and Tato's good. Whatever we did not review, uh, we found them in individual bags at Jungle Gems, the Tato brand. Yes, they were made in like Northern Ireland. And um, the, oh, they were wonderful. They were mm -hmm. absolutely wonderful. So this has buffalo, cheddar cheese, and spring onion. Salt and malt this vinegar. That is so cool. Uh, you know what though? I don't know if we had the crinkle cut or not. So we'll just have to look. Um, Thank you. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I, I cannot thank you enough. I really cannot thank you enough. I mean, it's just uh, overwhelming and amazing. And um, I, we, we're just very, very appreciative. And for you to send us things that uh, we can just enjoy too. Mm -hmm. awesome. And for Kevin to work on the Metal Earth. Um, just know that he, uh, he does them as he gets time. Yeah. Yeah, because he's, he's playing a game, so he does it as he gets time. But thank you very, very much. I will show you um, the, uh, the uh, cookbook when I open it up. And this is what it looks like behind the scenes. <laughs> so there, there's all the boxes and the wrapping, and then here's all the stuff. It's a lot, lot, lot of stuff. So I wanted to show uh, Chris, we have done a review of that Angel Delight dessert kit. Uh, we did the one with the, the strawberry, but then we also did the same one that you sent, which thank you very, very much, because we'll just make it again and uh, enjoy it. We actually did it a year ago. So I would have thought that the Archway Specialties wedding cookies, I would have thought they were the same thing as these Pfeffernoos, but the wedding cookies list pecans as an ingredient. The Pfeffernoos do not list any pecans as an ingredient. So I do believe they're different just looking at the ingredients in the two. I do believe they are different cookies. So we will uh, be reviewing the Pfeffernoos, see if we can spot the difference. I couldn't remember if we had tried the Joy Bites in Caramel, but we had. So I'm sure Georgian just sent this to us to enjoy. Uh, but it, it is, in fact, uh, the same one as right there. Well, Georgian, you're going to be shocked because we lucked out. Uh, the WBC cream soda that you sent us, the only one that broke, we've already reviewed it. So Kevin said the bottle looked different, the, our bottle, but it was the exact same thing. WBC, it was like vanilla cream soda. I looked it up and we had reviewed it, but not these. So that's, um, hey, if one had to break, I'm glad it was that one. And then... Um, we we have tried these but haven't reviewed these little cups so i'm we're gonna definitely review these this i don't know why i thought that we had reviewed it but we we have not uh so i can't wait to try those the apple cider muffins uh, of course there's a table full of stuff but i'm just showing you the stuff that i was looking up on my computer the tato we have not had the buffalo we've had the other two but these are all in crinkle cut and sometimes they can make a difference so we're going to be trying all three of those again, just because I think it's cool that they're crinkle cut. And then these, I couldn't remember if we had tried all of these or not. We have. This was actually, um, if you do a search for Betty Crocker salted caramel, it's the exact same thing. It's just in a different package. Some of these were in different packages, but we've already done them. But I know you don't care. I know you don't mind at all. Clearly, you don't mind sending us things that we've tried and we can just... Um, uh, enjoy them, you know, and then we have reviewed all three of these. They were just in other videos and, uh, we've reviewed these, but I absolutely love these. And there's actually, I didn't realize this until I carried it back in the bedroom. There's actually like, uh, two packages in here. So, um, I haven't, I can't open it while I'm on camera, but anyway, yes, there's two packages in there. So you did, uh, you, you sent us a lot uh, of anyway. So, I mean, there's going to be tons and tons and tons of reviews coming. Uh, stuff that I still have over at the table. But I did want to clarify that we have uh, reviewed these in case anyone's interested. So, I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to um, show every page or anything. But I figured I would show you a close-up real quick. This is the uh, British Recipes. And these, there are no pictures in no this one. No success. Is there any pictures? No, there are not any pictures. Uh, but there are a lot of, uh, look, coffee caramel squares. But by not putting pictures in here, they do give you more recipes. Look, Christmas mince pies. And I'm noticing, too, these are in American measurements. So they're in cups, they're in teaspoons, which I love. Because anytime I look up a British recipe, I have to convert it. <laughs> Which, you know, it's not any big deal. Fortunately, we have the internet these days. And so, 
you can convert anything, uh, but you do have to convert them. So this is the breads, and these just, they look wonderful. What's that? That was bacon jalapeno cornbread. <laughs> it, yes, it looks very good. And these do have pictures. I, do, I like pictures when I can have them just because a lot of times when, especially like with a cake, they'll decorate a cake or something, and I'm not that imaginative. And so by looking at how they did it, I can see how mine is supposed to look. Um, but then, this is the one I have not opened yet. I wanted to open it with you all. Um, the Betty Crocker's Picture Book, the original 1950 Classic Edition. So... I think it has, yeah. Oh, wow. This reminds me of, like, what my mom had. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know she didn't have the 1950 edition, uh, but she had a book like this. Um, what do you call it? A three-ring binder. binder. What, but, yeah, I mean, this, <laughs> this is a five-ring binder. Uh, but it has your abbreviations and your measurements, temperatures, um, contents of cans. That's interesting. Eight ounces is one cup. cup. Yeah. You know, I, I didn't, uh, I've never looked at that before. I didn't know that. So, um, a picnic size can? Never heard of a picnic size can. I haven't either. Hmm. A picnic size. I don't know, but I'm wondering do they not make that anymore? Look at the pictures. Oh, I love that kitchen. Are you getting a close up of these? Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Kevin's filming while I was opening things. This is so neat. You don't see cookbooks like this. No, it's all women cooking, too. Yeah, oh yeah, you're not going to get Paul Hollywood in here. <laughs> um, okay, and then look at the cereal boxes. Kicks, Cheerios. Cheerios still looks the same. A Bisquick. Look, a party cake. It was some kind of a brand of party cake. Gold medal. That is, I'll, I'll look at that drawer for onions and potatoes. Mm. Do you remember that your mom and dad bought us a potato bin? Oh, yeah. They bought us this wooden potato bin because we used to eat potatoes all the time. We always had potatoes in the house. And, um. It had a drawer for onions underneath us. I think, did we give it to Anna and Christina? I don't know. Who knows? Uh, I don't know what we did with it. We, I think we gave it away. We could have given it to my sister for all I know. But anyway, um, we just, we buy potatoes now for like if we're gonna have them we'll have them and then we don't have any like we don't like keep them around all the time but it had a it was a big uh, a wooden potato bin and then in the bottom it had a drawer for onions this is really really cool okay so it has breads I've already passed a bunch of appetizers this is cakes frostings look at that cake chocolate chip cake this is just a neat cookbook. Cookies. Uh, they have desserts. Eggs. I guess different things. The egg and you. <laughs> Look at those. Um, meat and fish. And then we have pies. And there's the picture of the pies. I should have gone through all the colorful pictures. These are salads. This is sauce. Did you notice how they were doing that? If, what? I know on the pie. Which one? The pie pages specifically. It, right here. You, you go to the picture of the pies and it tells you which one it is on which page. So they give, they got one big picture of the pie. Like I think it was on the next page over. Yeah, right here. So if you're wondering, okay, what is oh. that one? What is that one? So you go back to this page and, and it's, it's number one. two it's number and it tells two. you. And it tells you which one that one is. I had no idea. Yeah. No, I had That's no cool. Idea. So they can get one picture of all the pies together, and then you can just look them up. I had wonder what that one is. Let's see what that one is. Because that one's, I don't know, it's just different looking. Eight, ten? Number ten is fresh berry pie. That is so cool. Okay, so like for salads. So I'm assuming they did the so exact go back same thing. A page. Oh, go back. A page. Right there. Yep, right there. Well, that is so neat. I love that. Okay, so then we have sauces. And there's not a picture for sauces. And then we have soups. 
There's not a picture for soaps. No. But I'm sure there were, look, supper dishes. I'm sure there were a lot of other pictures that I missed. Yep, there you go. Same thing. That's... It's like that's, the spaghetti, is it? That looks like spaghetti. Look at that. And they put the, like the sauce in the middle or something. That That's bizarre. I have <laughs> never seen. Has Go. anyone ever seen spaghetti served that way? What is it? Number three? Yeah. Spaghetti, yeah, spaghetti with spaghetti meatballs. meatballs. And they put the sauce and the meatballs in the middle. Normally we would do that with like <laughs> chips and dip that's for hilarious. company. That That's funny. Vegetables. Oh, I have four. Oh. That looks like... Uh, souped up TV dinner, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Shortcuts, and then shortcuts. Uh, it's just going to be all kinds of things. Why is she vacuuming? Wear comfortable clothes and properly fitted shoes while working around the house. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, have sink, work table, countertops, etc. at a height that is comfortable to eliminate strain. If dish pan is too low, set it on a box. If you feel tired, lie down on the floor on your back. <laughs> Put your hands above your head. Close your eyes and relax for three to five minutes. This is interesting, though. Hilarious. After grating soft cheese, immediately uh, rub hard crust bread over the grater to clean it. Then clean the grater with stiff brush. So it knocks all the cheese out of the right. thing. That's I love this. this. You could do a video of just, just these things those. because that is this is funny. To boil potatoes in less time, remove a strip of skin from one side. Boil, then rest of then, then boil, rest. then rest of skin peels off easily. Oh, I see what they mean. Okay. So to, instead of peeling the whole thing all at once, just peel one strip and then boil them and then the rest comes off real easy. Hilarious. Who would have known? Very, very fast. This is this is a good book. This is something that you could actually take like in the bedroom and read or on the couch and read because there's so much more to mm -hmm. it than meets the eye. There's there's a lot in here. Um so anyway, thank you. Uh thank you again very much to George Ann for that. That is that is a cool book. try to keep the camera uh, keep the camera still so that we can while see it well yeah while Kevin's driving on the interstate and I have it zoomed in like all the way so like it's zoomed in 17 times um, but it's not often that you see a hot air balloon we saw it way back in the distance and uh, I just think they're really really uh, they're always so pretty and it's really neat. Uh, they used to have a, like a special time in Winchester where they would uh, lift off. They would lift off, I don't know, like 20 of them in one night. And um, it, was a, it was a cool event. I've never been in a hot air balloon and honestly would not want to go in one. I'm terrified of heights. And uh, so it's not my thing, but I sure do like to look at them. Kevin, have you ever been up close to one? No. So, if any of you have ever uh, been in one, you'll have to tell everybody about your experience in the comments below. It's just, uh, I, I do think it's neat, but uh, just, it just seems like it'd be very scary and like very unsure. You never know where you're going to land and it just seems like an unsure thing to me. to open from Kristen in Georgia. I don't want to give her last name. Um, it's like this. I have no idea what this is. Let me see. Tammy and Kevin. You can, yeah, go ahead and start opening that. Let's see. Uh, hi, Tammy and Kevin. My name is Kristen. And I live in Northeast Georgia, born and raised. I am fairly new to your YouTube channel and have so enjoyed watching all of your reviews, vlogs, 
bloopers and living through your vacations. I am dying to go to the UK. My husband calls y'all my Kentucky friends when I'm telling him about something I saw on your channel. I was recently in a gift shop and came across this tea towel that instantly made me think of you and your childhood home. I hope you like it. I also have a box heading your way from Eastern Standard Provisions. I was on Oprah's Favorite Things this year and thought it would be a fun review. It is supposed to ship between November 15th and 17th. I just wanted to tell you both, thank you for all the joy and yummy food you brought into my life. Many blessings, Kristen. And the reason I didn't say your last name is because some people are... Some people care and they don't want me to share their last name. Um, well, let's open it. I didn't want to open it. Eastern Standard Provisions. Um, I have and it never. Was an Oprah thing. And Oprah's favorite things. So, so I'm wondering, is that like a, is it like one of these boxes? You know, like they have a, a food of the month box, or is this a box that Oprah has uh, put like gotten together, and these are all? We're not gonna look it up though, because we won't be. Scared. No, I don't want to look it up. Okay, this is. I didn't open. Towel. I didn't want to take it out. <gasps> oh, isn't that? I've never seen a tea towel like that. It says my old Kentucky home. I love that. Uh, that is amazing that you found this in Georgia and I've never seen anything like that here. That's so pretty. This is something to me that you would hang up or you would put like um, over your stove to decorate with. Right. Not something that you want to use because it's pretty. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, stitch things are hard to use in practicality. I think this is More made to be pretty. So I will find a place for this. I can't wait. Thank you very, very much for thinking of me. And then we have a box from Hope. And... I'm going to show the address. No. Hope sent us some nuts. In the oh! Oh! Wow, she, okay, what the deal was, oh, and she said this, so I, I love the, the white pumpkins, pumpkins. Um, and Kevin likes, well, I like these two. The I like chocolate all of them, pumpkins. I mean, truth be told, I like truth all of them. <laughs> yes, um, what the deal was is I could not find these Reese's with um, peanuts. peanuts, yeah. And uh, so Hope found them. We have never seen these with peanuts. Mm -hmm. We, um, the only thing that we've had is the peanut brittle. Which has peanuts in it. Right, but we've never been able to find the ones with peanuts. So this is awesome. Thank you so much. And this is just a regular one. So we can compare the regular to mm -hmm. the, um, out of the ones with peanuts. I wonder if we've not done a review of these. I don't know. The pumpkins? The pumpkins. I'm not sure. We'll I know once you've had the Reese's with uh, the, the shapes, be it white or milk chocolate, I personally don't think you... I don't want to uh, ever go back to eating a regular cup. Of course, I will eat a regular Reese's cup. But my favorite are the shapes is mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So no matter if they're shaped like a Christmas tree or no matter, they have more... Uh, filling. Filling, yeah. They have more peanut butter on the inside and they're absolutely fantastic. So I prefer buying the shapes over buying the regular Reese's cups. But now... I think there's big gaps during the year where that's all you can buy is a Reese's cup. Mm -hmm. So, thank goodness you can buy a big cup. Yeah. Because for the times when you can't get the shapes, you get the you extra can get filling these. in the cup. Big yes. Cup thank you so very much because um, one of my friends in the UK actually, uh, Brian, had told me about this. And uh, I said, we have no, never seen that around us. Never heard of it. So thank you very much. And thank you so much for the tea towel. So our local Kroger has gotten all of their uh, seasonal stuff out for winter. Now this is not the Kroger in the next town over. The Kroger in the next town over is much, much bigger. And so they have lots of toys. Um, they do have some toys here, but it's not, not like near as big as the one um, in the next town over. Oh, there are only three different shapes. 
Yeah, it's just shapes. It's not a different flavor. No, but it's just three shapes. I was expecting a bunch. There's only 30. But I figured I would just film a little bit while we're in here. I don't know that they'll have anything any um, any different. Yes, those ver yeah, and they have the milk chocolate too on the end. Look, sock monkey. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, Kevin. Look, we got all four of these last year. That pecan toffee oh, was excellent. Um, but I don't see anything like. I, I do too. I wish. Like I know. I wish they weren't so expensive. Yeah, they're. I think they're expensive, but but now they're adorable. Probably. But Ashley sent me a picture this um, 24 like K cups and of coffee and so we came over here to look at it because we're wondering if it's gonna be uh, different flavors or what oh those are nice mason jars those are really nice for $30 Wonder where she saw that K cup thing. They have roller skates. Monopoly diced. Um a Christmas tree, a white Christmas tree. Which I don't even see a white Christmas tree, but that's what's in the picture. Oh, look how cute these are. Look at the unicorn. I love that. I love the unicorn. That would be the one that I would get. The unicorn and the mouse princess. Oh, that's a lot of Play-Doh. Yeah, 16 for 12 bucks. That's pretty good. They even have stockings. I, I love those. I absolutely love these. They're, the, get one free. they're the best Buy ever. I wonder if Ashley's tried those. I wonder if she's tried those. I'm going to end the vlog for the week, but we have one more box to open for you. I know this basically, I could have done a whole video of just box openings, but Honestly, we haven't done a lot this week anyway. So, um, you know, we, we really haven't, we just haven't, uh, Kevin's had a lot of meetings. Um, we saw Andrew for a little while yesterday. Andrew came over and uh, while Kevin was in a meeting, Andrew and I actually played um, Bananagrams again. So last week I told you at the end of the week that uh, we had played two games, two rounds of Bananagrams. We played two uh, yesterday as well. He won them again. He's really good at it. But I, I tell you what, I, I really don't mind to lose because I'm having so much fun. And um, I I've never minded losing the games. No. But I told him, I said, this is a game, Bananagrams is a game that I could play every single day because uh, it, it, it's just that fun. And it's fresh every time because you're – trying to make up new words every single time. So, but anyway, that all of that to say, we just haven't really done a lot. So it's been fun having boxes to open this week. These are from Hope. Hope ordered sure these. They're, I hope I'm pronouncing them correctly. It's called Otterbane's Cookies. And they are out of Maryland. Baltimore. Uh, yeah, Baltimore, Maryland. Well, Otterbane's Cookies. Oh, good. Uh, for you to enjoy a little taste of a Baltimore classic. We locals love our Otterbane's cookies. Hope you will too. Hope. So earlier we got a box from Hope that had the Reese's uh, cups in them. So these are, wow, there's six different flavors. Uh, we have lemon sugar, double chocolate chip, sugar cookies. Chocolate chip. Oatmeal raisin, which is one of my favorites, and ginger. 
ginger, gingerbread. No, just ginger. I know, just ginger. Ginger cookies. Uh, this will be a lot of fun. Um, I like cookies. Do you think we ought to divide it into two videos, or do you think we ought to try them all at one time? Mm. That's a lot of cookies. I don't yeah. know, but you you can if you try them all. The the if you're wondering my thought process, um, it's. Uh, you know, do I want to try them all at once and see if we can rate them uh, the first to last, or That's or fun. do I it's just, just a cookie. not want to be overwhelmed? And They're fairly thin cookies too. They They're are. Not really That's thick the cookies. thing. It's like. It's not a thick cookie that's like filled with something, right. or it's not huge, and and so these are just small, cook, uh, little thin cookies, and so we'll probably try them all at one time. Yeah, uh, but thank you so much, Hope, for these, and thank you to everyone who uh, sent us uh, sent us boxes to open. We appreciate it. The, uh, you, those of you that are uh, Patreon. Uh, supporters uh, appreciate all the support and all the comments you all leave um, it is always very much appreciated so we will see you next week